Hey everyone! In this video, I'll show you 10 quick and easy DIYs that only take a few minutes to make. These include a no glue fluffy slime, a touchscreen stylus, mini macaron squishies, and super fluffy pom poms. If you like what you see, then please click that thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to both of my channels, Cute Life Hacks and Macaroon. I post cute and original DIY videos every week, and you can also find me on Snapchat and Instagram under my username Macaroon. If you clicked on this video looking for things to do when you're bored, then I have a bonus idea right here. This video is kindly sponsored by Disney Magic Kingdoms, and I know there are tons of Disney fans out there watching this who may not know about the game yet. This game is free to download and play, and it's absolutely massive. If you love Disney, then this will keep you entertained for ages. You basically get to build your own Disney theme park while completing different storyline quests. You can unlock all of your favorite characters, including Mickey Mouse, Rapunzel, Buzz Lightyear, and many more. The attractions in the game are based on real Disney theme parks, including Space Mountain, Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor, and It's a Small World. One of my best childhood memories was going to Disneyland Paris when I was 12, and this game is designed to help everyone relive those magical moments. To coincide with the launch of Beauty and the Beast live action film, there's a mega event running between March 9th and April 3rd. During this time, you have the chance to get 7 new characters from Beauty and the Beast, along with 4 new attractions, including Belle's House and the Beast's Castle. Everything that you unlock during this event will be yours to keep forever, but you only have until April 3rd to complete the quests. So if you want to give it a try, then hurry up and get the game now. Disney Magic Kingdoms is free to play and I've put all the app links just under this video. So inspired by this game, the first DIY is how to make your own touchscreen stylus. Believe it or not, the secret to this tutorial is a packet of crisps. First eat the crisps and then take the empty bag and cut it open. Then use a face wipe or soapy water to clean away all the oil. Now cut out a piece a bit longer than your pencil and place it silver side down. You can get these little pencils for free from any IKEA shop. Wrap the foil around the pencil and tape everything into place. Then fold and stick the ends together. The important part is that the stylus needs to be exposed foil and your hand also needs to be touching the foil. This conducts the capacitance from your skin to the screen and it's really fun to see it work. Most touchscreens will only react to a certain minimum size, so if your pen doesn't work then try to make the tip part a bit bigger. I found that having a wedge shaped tip like this was a lot more effective than a pointy one. I also have a tutorial on how to make touchscreen gloves, so you can watch that here if you're curious. The next idea is a perfect fluffy slime made without any glue. I got so many requests under my clear face mask slime to make a fluffy version as well. I started with 4 peel off face masks or about 32 milliliters. This recipe is very forgiving so you can simply eyeball the amount and it should still work. Then add some shaving foam or shower foam. I'm using Belu which German viewers will recognize immediately since it's created by the YouTuber BB's Beauty Palace. Simply squeeze it into the face mask and mix well until completely combined. You can add more to increase the volume, but make sure it's still slightly sticky. The final texture should look like whipped egg whites. Now add 4 pinches of baking soda and mix again. The tasty donut Baloo smells amazing, a bit like strawberries, vanilla and bubblegum, so I decided to use some food colouring to turn it pink. Lastly, just add a squirt of contact lens solution and mix until the slime comes together. Peel off face masks contain PVA so they work perfectly fine as a substitute for glue. But the result is actually slightly different to glue slime so you can have lots of fun experimenting. 
I find that face mask slimes stay softer for longer, and they don't turn smelly, which often happens with glue. This fluffy slime has a bouncy, jelly-like texture, and it looks just like bubble gum. The next project is this amazing floral unicorn hairband. First, I know this isn't a true DIY because it's based on a kit, but I really wanted to share it because it literally takes 5 minutes to make and the results look so gorgeous. I think many of you will love this for a party or gift idea. I found this kit from an Etsy shop called Pretty in Pink and they have the most amazing craft kits and supplies. Their prices are super reasonable and they have all types of other adorable unicorn kits. The one I got is called Floral Unicorn and it contains a satin hairband, a gold unicorn horn, five felted stickers, fabric flowers and paper flowers. Start by sticking one felt circle in the center of the hairband. Then add the rest making sure that they're glued from underneath like this. This makes it more comfortable to wear and prevents anything from getting stuck in your hair. Now hot glue the horn onto the middle piece and start arranging the flowers along the sides. I was so impressed by this kit because everything it contains is such high quality. Though it didn't come with any instructions, so it took me a few tries to figure out the best method for assembling all the pieces. Finish off with the smaller flowers and be sure to cover exposed wires with hot glue. Now simply fill up any gaps with more hot glue and you're done! I think we all agree that this is an amazing DIY considering how easy it was. The satin hairband is really light and comfortable to wear, and it doesn't pinch your ears which always happens with plastic or metal bands. The next DIY is a Starbucks charm that you can use as a keyring or decoration. Start with at least one clear frappuccino cup. If you want to make a lot of these, then you can simply order water or ask for an extra cup at Starbucks and they should usually give it to you for free. Then cut out the logo, leaving a very small edge around the outside. Now remove the base of your hole punch. Slide the logo into the slot until you can just about see the edges of the star on her crown. Now just punch a hole through the center and you're done. Of course, I made the very basic version to qualify as a 5 minute craft, but you can jazz this up in many other ways. You can attach DIY pom poms which are coming later in this video, or paint it all over with clear glittery nail polish. The fifth DIY is an easy way to make mini macaron squishies. Start with some mini makeup blenders. You can get these quite cheaply from many drugstores or fashion chains like Primark. You'll need two of each color for every macaron you want to make. Cut off the base just about here and trim the edges so it looks like a macaron shell. You can always continue using the top part as a beauty blender if you don't want to waste any supplies. Once you put the bottom parts together, these already look like adorable little macarons. For the next step, you'll need plain white silicon or white deco cream. Fill your macarons with cream and be careful not to get anything on your fingers. Silicon is really hard to get off skin and if it does happen, then you have to rub it off using a cheap plastic bag. Once the cream is about 5mm thick, you can press the top part of the macaron together. You can also add an eye pin to turn it into a charm or necklace pendant. Then leave these to dry for 24 hours and you can start having fun with your squishies. The next DIY is a scented Play-Doh using only two ingredients. Start by scooping some cornstarch into a bowl. This recipe is very easy so there's no need to measure anything. Then add some body lotion and mix well. Simply keep on mixing until you get a thick dough. 
This is really stress relieving to play with, and it's great for helping you concentrate when studying. Please note that this is not a slime because it doesn't contain any PVA or borate. Slimes must stretch when you pull on it, and this one simply falls apart. I've seen people using this method and calling it butter slime, but unfortunately that's not correct. Real butter slime can only be made by mixing slime and clay together, or by using this recipe here. However, this scented dough is still great fun to make, and you can change the smell and color using different types of body lotion. For DIY number 7, I'll show you how to make these beautifully delicate bracelets that look like tiny crystals. I'm using these Sophie and Toffee Jelly Whip Deco Creams that were sent to me for review. If you don't have these, then you can also use transparent silicon, but be warned that silicon can be really difficult to clean up, especially if you try adding color or glitter yourself. First, spread out a non-stick baking mat or parchment paper. Measure out your wrist using dental floss and cut off the right length. Stick this onto your mat using tape. Cut off the tip of your jelly whip so that only a tiny amount comes out when you squeeze it. Now carefully pipe tiny dots along your dental floss until you get a beaded line like this. Jelly Whip is so much fun to work with and it even smells like peach. If you want to make a slightly wider bracelet, then simply braid three pieces of dental floss together. This is what I did here and it gives you a bigger surface area to work with. For this one I'm using the blue gradient Jelly Whip which has a lovely crystal effect. After you finish piping, you have to leave it alone for about a day and resist the urge to touch it. Once they're completely dry, you can simply peel it off the baking mat like this. I think these look adorable and they actually turned out better than I imagined. You can attach jewelry findings to the end or simply get a friend to tie it onto your wrist like a friendship bracelet. You can experiment with different colors of Jelly Whip on the same bracelet to make even cuter designs. If you have a slime shop, then you can even try making bracelets to match the clear slimes that you sell. The next DIY is how to make paper stars. This was the very first video I ever made for YouTube, and I really wanted to refilm it just for old times sake. I'm using this crafting paper pad which contains some gorgeous designs, but you can use any type of scrap paper, wrapping paper, or even pages from a magazine. First, measure out some strips about 1cm wide. If you're lucky, you might find a design that already has stripes in it, so you can simply cut them out like this. Imagine that this is a piece of string and begin by tying one end into a knot. The trick is to hold it very lightly so you don't crumple or rip the paper, and you'll notice that it forms a pentagon shape like this. Please don't press the edges down. I see this in many other YouTube videos, and it actually makes the DIY a lot harder to complete. Now start wrapping the remaining strip around the sides. The sides of the pentagon form a natural angle, so be sure to follow that direction when wrapping the strip. Here you can see the difference between the right and wrong angles. Once you reach the end, just tuck the strip under the folds to create the base for your star. Just for comparison, I made one where I pressed all the edges down and you can see how flat it looks compared to the correct version. You want the edges of your star to stay nice and puffy like the one on the right. Now simply pinch in the sides to create a star. This part is much easier if the sides of your star haven't been pressed flat. Here's the whole process again, so you can take a look and familiarize yourself with each step. These stars are extremely popular in Asia, and I made them all the time with my cousins in China. If you want to be super authentic, then find a glass jar with a lid just like this one. As kids, we used to believe that if you make lots of stars until the jar was full, then it brings you happiness and good luck. So every girl had a jar and we'd constantly be trying to fill it up with stars. This is really relaxing to do and the perfect thing to keep your hands occupied when you're watching YouTube. 
The next DIY is how to make super fluffy pom poms. Did you know that you can actually make pom poms using felting wool instead of knitting wool? You can get felting wool from most craft stores, and I've linked my favorite Etsy shops below. This is also a great way to use up leftover wool from needle felting kits. First, rip off a piece of wool and start wrapping it around a fork. Now thread a piece of dental floss through the fork and tie the wool tightly through the center. I find that floss is a lot stronger than thread, which is why I like using it so much for crafting. Now slide it off the fork and start cutting open the sides. If you have problems with this part, then you might have wrapped the wool too tightly around the fork, so try wrapping it a bit looser next time. Once everything is cut open, fluff up your pom-pom and trim it into a round shape using scissors. I really love how these look because they feel more professional than the standard wool pom-poms you see everywhere. These are the type of pom-poms you actually find on accessories sold in shops or in craft kits. Now feel free to repeat this as often as you like. The most important part is to make sure you tie the wool together as firmly as possible. So be sure to press the knot into place with your finger or get a friend to hold it shut while you tie off the ends. Use different amounts of wool to make different size pom-poms and you can even experiment with different colors inside the same one. The final DIY is an easy, no heat lip balm. Most lip balms need heating to melt the ingredients together. This is a much quicker version that only uses coconut oil as the base. However, this method only works if you live in a country where the temperature is usually lower than 25 degrees centigrade, since coconut oil will turn liquid above that. Start by scooping out two teaspoons of coconut oil onto plastic wrap. Now add your color. You can use eyeshadow pigments, powdered blush, or even a tiny piece of lipstick. You can also add food safe glitter or luster dust, which is what I'm doing here to give it a frosty look. Now wrap everything up in cling film and use your body heat to melt it together. Squish it around until the lip balm is evenly blended. Now take a small watertight container. I strongly recommend filling this up with water and checking that nothing will leak out even if your coconut oil turns liquid. Then just scoop your lip balm into the pot and leave it in the fridge until set. This is quick and easy to make and you can get creative with all sorts of color combinations. I have tons of lip balm tutorials which I've linked below so be sure to check those out if you want more inspiration. I really hope you have lots of fun trying out these 5 minute crafts. Let me know which one was your favorite and if you have any ideas for future compilations. A big thanks to Disney Magic Kingdoms for sponsoring this video and please remember to check out the game for free from the link below. Thank you so much for watching and as always I'll see you on Instagram, Snapchat or in my next video. Bye!